Now for pediatric vital signs. In this video, we're going to break down exactly how vital signs are very different than the adults. But first, let's cover a few key points. Number one, we always talk to the parents first and then to the child, just like a physical assessment. And number two, always start with the least invasive vital signs first, or basically the least intrusive. For example, we count the respiratory rate and heart rate first, and then we progress to blood pressure and temperature last, as these are the most invasive, often making the baby cry with a big, scary, inflated BP cuff that squeezes the arm and not to mention the thermometer in the mouth or armpit or even rectum. The child will typically get uncomfortable and scream and pretty much skew all the other vital signs. So ATI question here. Which of the following should the nurse assess first on a well child exam in a six-week-old infant who is sleeping? Auscultation of lung and heart sounds. Yes, least invasive first. And number three, as a general rule, infants should be in the caregiver's lap during the assessment, as mentioned by ATI. Now, in terms of the actual vital sign numbers, ah, <laughs> okay, don't be scared. You don't need to memorize every single number. We did a lot of research over five different textbooks and 10,000 NCLEX style questions and found that most test questions mainly ask about heart rate, respiratory rate, and blood pressure specifically in the neonate, infant, and toddler age ranges, as these are the most vulnerable clients. So be sure to focus on these ranges here, as these were the most tested. Now you can download this study guide bundle in our study guide area on the membership site. So as you can see in the highlighted areas or dotted red boxes below, the children have a faster heart rate and respiratory rate as compared to adults and a low blood pressure here. This is because their organs are smaller. So for a top missed NCLEX question, a 10 month old crying and vomiting with abdominal distension for the past six hours, the infant is quietly resting with a pulse of 220 per minute and a blood pressure of 85 over 45. What should the nurse report to the HCP? Now, if this was an adult client, then we'd be freaking out right now. But it's a little baby, an infant, a 10-month-old here. So looking at the charts, we're seeing that the heart rate of an infant, 1 to 12 months, is between 110 to 160 beats per minute. Now, the question states 220 per minute. So that's a little bit tacky, or basically a fast heart rate. And the blood pressure is 85 over 45. So as you can see for our infant population, the systolic should be anywhere between 70 to 105 and the diastolic 35 to 55. So this is actually perfect. So the correct answer here is the client is now lethargic with tachycardia. So please be sure to know these key numbers that are highlighted here. Okay, now to break these down one by one for the respiratory and heart rate, we count for one full minute for infants and toddlers to screen for irregularities. So Hesse mentions assessing the heart rate of a one-year-old. Listen to the apical pulse for a full minute. The key term there is a full minute. And Saunders, a 12-month-old with respiratory infections. The respiratory rate of 36. Document the findings. Yes, as you can see, the respiratory rate of a 12-month-old, technically an infant, should be between 30 to 60, and we have a 36 respiratory rate here. Now, as mentioned before, children have a faster heart rate and respiratory rate when compared to adults, and this is because of the organs. They are smaller, so the blood pressure will be lower when compared to adults. So, ATI mentions a blood pressure of a 2-year-old. 92 over 60. This blood pressure would be normal. Yes, as you can see from our chart here, looking at a toddler's blood pressure, the typical range is 85 to 105 systolic and 40 to 65 diastolic. So ATI gives you a blood pressure that is normal, 92 over 60. 
Now for temperature, typically it's higher than adults. So oral temperature we use for five to six year olds, axillary temperature, or basically under the armpit. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to take your quiz and download the study guides. And also feel free to share the love, share with a classmate and even your instructor. See you guys in the next videos.